Hi everybody, uh, all my followers, everybody on YouTube, uh, welcome to another video. Um, I was not planning to record this uh, because I have done this uh, in the past, uh, but the other video I've done for this, for a very similar problem, if not the same problem actually, um, it was dark, I was just finishing the job, I didn't really show you anything, so... I couldn't um, I couldn't actually show you the problem now this one here I um, I have everything dismantled everything dismantled and I'm gonna show you the problem so this is a um, as per the title is a 2008 uh, Citroen Picasso C4 the Picasso and the car came to me with uh, multiple faults so it was ABS faults uh, ESP faults and the brake doesn't work is the electric and brake uh, doesn't work the speedo doesn't work so uh, where the the speed should show uh, it shows uh, two dashes so it doesn't show the mileage uh, doesn't show uh, what else uh, let me see this is the manual version so there is no um, auto gearbox uh, what else I can't remember now uh, but I think that was it um, I think that that was the main faults um, I was trying to scan the car just to confirm uh, my suspicions. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, I brought the Maxi C's and I have no 12 volts um, on my OBD port. My OBD port is dead. No, it's not dead. I could probably power the Maxi C's externally and still be able to confirm uh, my suspicions. And what I was just trying to see is. Uh, or was if I had no communications with my ABS module, which I know I didn't. Uh, although I couldn't confirm that because I couldn't scan it, but I know now I, I didn't. So I'm gonna show you guys what the problem is with these cars, uh, these Citroen, uh, these uh, Citroens, these C4s, Picassos, um, and I'm gonna link in this video below as well the um, the the other video I've done for this. Although I. I didn't show you what I'm going to show you here now. So let's going to go to the front of the car, and I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to show you. Damn it! I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is. Hi everybody out there that is watching. So I'm going to flip the camera, and I'm going to show you that what the problem is. Uh, the quality should be good because I'm at home, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. So this is all into bits and I want you to see this. so over here you have on your cars if you have this over here this fuse here that goes onto a blue wire is a 5 amps and this is one of the voltage feeds to the ABS module okay and uh, is one of the power feeds if I would go down to the to the ABS module I could guarantee you I have no 12 volts on this wire and why? I'm going to show you why I don't have. Because of this. You have the purple one as well. But look to my to my blue wire right here. Look at my blue wire. Follow my blue wire. Sorry, guys. Look at my blue wire there. Okay. That's why I have no 12 volts. And, as I, and there is more wires here, as you can see. There's more. There's more there. Look at that. There's a lot to repair, and then when you come down here as well, the, the wires have been, look at that, I don't know how good it's going to show, but look at that, is the, look at these grounds here, look at that, look, you see, these wires is already gone on the inside when I open it, see the insulation is all gone, so I'm gonna have to repair a few wires around here. Look, another one down there. Look at that. So the reason why this happens, the reason why this happens, guys, is because of the battery. The battery is really close in there, and it looks like acid from the battery gets into those wires and starts corrode to corrode or starts to to damage the insulation, which sooner or later will get through the wire and uh, and is gone. It thank you. Yeah, I try. Um, 
so yeah so you've seen what the problem is my blue wire that feeds my abs pump is completely gone as you've seen uh, but there is more in there so i'm not going to just repair that one um thinking yep yeah, that's it no i'm going to repair everything around there obviously um even those that the installations um, are damaged uh, i'm gonna cut sections all those sections put new wires and um and yeah and when um a, a big advice here as well is guys when you put because you can't really get rid of the battery i mean you need the battery in there so there's nothing you 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 can really do so what i've done every single time on these repairs is when i put everything back on i wrap the entire loom with insulation tape so these looms they are wrapped with a sort of uh, cloth a plastic thing of plastic mesh sort of and they have i will be waiting now i'm not doing a full repair guys uh for this video um for this uh i'm not doing a full video for this repair uh, i'm just going to repair the wires i just want to share with you if you have this problem uh don't get mistaken by a wrong diagnostics yeah because i had one long time ago i don't know if i mentioned that on the other video that they've been replacing abs pumps because obviously they thought they couldn't communicate with the abs so they, they replaced abs units they replaced it twice i think um if i'm not if i recall correctly and obviously that didn't fix the problem because the problem was it was up there um so so that, that that was the thing so but as i was saying one of the things um, um i'm, I'm going to do differently now is because originally this this loom is wrapped with a sort of a plastic mesh and then it just has a, a few bits of tape holding everything in place what i've done on every single one of these repairs is is i have wrapped everything with insulation with uh, that black uh, tape and i tried to make it as moisture as, as as tight as possible so nothing gets through the tape uh, i use three or four rolls of tape if i have to so make sure you try to avoid uh that sort of acid vapors whatever that is that comes out from the battery to getting through the tape and gets to the wires so that's what uh, what i'm going to do but from here guys now is just repair the loom put everything back on and i should have the problem sorted um there is no point to show you in in, in the end uh, as i said at the beginning below i'm going to put a link to the other video that i've showed you um, that i have done for this and um but the other one like i said i didn't show exactly that because it was dark and the problem was already solved anyway but um but at least you can see um and and i'll link from the other one to here obviously so people it's just to help someone out there guys if you have this problem don't panic most likely it's going to be in there okay just take the 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 bsm out take the box out as you have seen take all that out the battery uh, uh, case take everything out and wrap the loom and you're going to find that most likely is going to be there um <laughs> thank you everybody guys i will go through your um let me go through your comments so um hello from friends autosport how you doing diago to everybody uh it looks impossible to repair <laughs> uh yeah it should be good quality i'm at home so i'm connected to my wi-fi it should be good that's very interesting yes it is uh uh my hair's right the ecu for no that van uh, that uh, galaxy is running absolutely perfect um i see the van not every day but uh, i know who owns the van and the van has been running fine ever since uh autosport as i said i'm not going to do a full video of this it's, it's just going to be this if it can happen on the 2007 the sorry on the 207 from 2011 i'm not sure i never had one of those um but um but if you have one 207 207 check that there is no water on your uh bsm plugs um right at the top they are quite prone to get water in there uh no it didn't uh, the car never stalled uh, the car was running fine um because the car was drove to here 
obviously, but uh, no one break, no BS, obviously. But it, I never been told that the car would stall. But I think as well depends which wires are going to corrode because usually that blue wire always goes. I don't know why. If it's because of the color, that blue one usually always goes. But there's other wires, as you've seen, as I've showed you, there's other wires as well. I think all depends which wires uh, are going to go first. Thank you, Enlops. Uh, <laughs> this went forever. No problem, man. No problem, bro. I do hope it is, and you can open and you can fix it. Um, as I said already, T. No, I'm not going to do a full uh, repair. I mean, the fault finding. I didn't even. I have not even done a fault finding. To be fair, guys. Like I said, I was trying to plug the maxi sys. Was no 12 volts at the OBD port, so I couldn't scan the car. Um, as I said, I, I could do a few things to try to scan it, but I didn't. Um, and straight, but but everything was pointing to that. So I just thought I'm going to take the gumball and I'm going to open that die in there, dismantle that, and and hopefully it will be that my problem. And bingo, there it is. Um, yeah, the C threes and the 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 board on the plugs. Yes, it is. Thank you, Daza. Thank you for watching. Your English, my English is not very good either, man. So <laughs> I just do my best. So I think that's it for this video, guys. I really hope that uh, my main thing is I hope this helps someone out there. So I hope someone is going to look for for this problem and and finds this video and and go, can go in there, open it, and find exactly the same the same thing. So as I said already, we're going to repair the wires. Um, I don't need to tell you, but obviously we're going to use uh, shrink tubing. I don't have a lot left from the BMW repair. So I only have a little bit left, but hopefully it will be enough for this repair. I need to get some more. But um, but as I said, we're going to do the proper repair, soldering the wires with the shrink tubing, and then wrap the loom. So we need, in that place, we need to do a proper repair. We can't budge it because... Otherwise, it's going to be a question of man, um, a matter of months um, for the, the, the van to have the same problem. All the other ones I've done, this is not the first one, as I said. All the ones I've done so far, the, the first one I've done was probably about eight years ago, maybe seven years ago, and still running as far as I'm aware. So, so we need to make sure we repair it properly. And um, if I'm going to post any video this week, um, I've done one on Monday, didn't I? Uh, I might post one on Friday, possibly. Friday, Saturday. Uh, Roger. <coughs> uh, try the subtitles, man. I know my English is not very good, and sometimes uh, the subtitles are not very, very correct, but try Thank you, World Sport. No, I th <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, I think that's it, guys. Um, I need to get this done today. I hope it doesn't rain. So, I need to, I need to crack on with this. Guys, carry on. Um, what to say? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there is some information here. Uh, that can help someone out there, as I said a few couple times. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, you know, put them below. Don't forget my Patreon. Uh, don't forget the forum if you need uh, help. There's a lot of people there being helped. There's a lot of nice people in there. Don't forget about it. And um, and uh, and uh, and that's it, guys. I need. I, I really need. I, I really need to shut off. Um, so guys, have a nice day um, and thank you for watching. See you next time.